In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can boost your FPS and performance in all games on your low-end PC and laptops. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. First, go to my Discord server. Click on the download link. Now click on the subscribe to unlock button. Now subscribe my channel to unlock the link. Now as you can see, the link is unlocking and download the pack and follow me for settings. And as you guys downloaded the program successfully, just simply drag it onto your desktop and double click on it. And as you this can see, this new install here pops up. And now we can see guys that it's gonna show us exactly which CPU we run. For me it's AMD run. Ryzen 740 700X with 8 cores and 16 frets. And as you can my see, my stock core speed is right now 3.59 GHz. And now here on the top, this is where the magic happens boys. Here we get the CPO settings for power profile, and we're just simply gone. Click on this drop down menu, and go to bit some highest performance. This is the best mode guys by the way, um you can use, whatever you want. But the bit some highest performance is the maximum you. amount of FPS. And as you can see, everything got already changed here automatically. We don't need to apply anything for ourselves. And obviously, you don't want to put in like a low power mode here on top because we just want to boost it to the maximum. Just to sum this up real quick guys, um, this program does automatically determine are the best which. settings for your CPU. And as you it's can see, it's gonna adjust the boost settings here all by himself and just simply click here on apply. And the new settings have been applied. But what I would also recommend you is to enable the Bitsum Dynamic Boost, since this is like a better power plan than the high performance when we enabled already. in previous tutorials. Just gonna read it out real quick. This handy feature forces the PC to be on bit some highest performance power plan while active, but the lowest the CPU, the more conservative power plan when it goes idle. And what is this? Pretty much is gonna boost or apply like this new power plan you guys, which we have to set up here again. You H and disrupt them you can and see yes, when the PC I is. use the bits and highest performance one. And we're just gonna be gonna press here okay. And then here, okay as well. And as you can the see, the new power plan has been applied guys. And this is always gonna make sure that your CPU and your system or wall is running at 100% to gain the maximum amount of FPS. And yeah, just have less input delay and all that stuff. And if we now actually take a look at power plan list, we can see that the Bitsum highest performance power plan is enabled, provides Bitsum optimized CPO performance. And this is truly the best one you can get out there guys. And I'm gonna leave the link to this program. Obviously in description everything. So can reread it for yourself. And with that we said, already done here with this first and step. And let's continue with the next and one. run until you find the run application. Just simply open it up. And in here, type in MS config. Just simply written out like this. Just simply press OK here. And the new system. Configuration window here should pop up. And if we go over to boot, we can see now that we get the advanced options here for our current operating system. And yeah, just simply opened up here. Advanced options. And then we see your number of processors. And usually, it's just on one here. Just simply put the check in here. And now you can put the maximum amount of frets. And since I'm running a course, 16 fret CPU, I can put it all the way up to 16 guys. And this is exactly what I would recommend. You just simply put the highest number possible in there to just make sure that your CPO is running at 100% and all the extra fats are utilized always. And then just simply press, press okay apply. Here. Press okay again. And now it says you on um, that you should probably restart your PC for everything to apply correctly. Um, you can do this later on. I would recommend you to just watch the rest of the video. So you apply all the steps and then restart your PC. But you can of course also do right now. So guys, and all you have to do is simply go into a window. Type in presenter 10 percenter until you find this first file. Just here. simply open it up. And as you can see in here, now we've got all the temporary files. Windows saves over the time on your PC and they're super, super unnecessary because there's all like some old information for like backups or stuff like that. Or whenever you have something updated on your PC and what you guys can do is simply delete. Epic Games launch. Go into library. Just simply click on these free dots next Fortnite to Fortnite. Then go into verify. As you can see now, Fortnite is trying to fix itself. If there are any missing files, any or issues with your game files themselves, if experiencing any stutter or stuff like that, Fortnite is trying to replace these files or maybe like fix them if they're like broken or something. This gonna take only like a short while. And afterwards, you can launch a Fortnite. Please launch it once and check if the issues are maybe fixed already. And if your issues are still not fixed, guys, all you have to do open is up the file. Explorer of Windows 10. And as you can see, guys, I'm here. writing on the local this. See where my Fortnite is installed. It's for most of the people gonna be on local, depending on where. Just simply install your Fortnite. And then you have to go into Program Files. Go into Epic Games. Fortnite, Fortnite. Game Binaries. Windows 64. And as you can see, guys, this here, is pretty much the UM folder with all the exadator for Fortnite. And what I want you to do in the first place is click on to battle I. And now you can see here on Bedlay, we get the Insta Bedlay thing. If your Bedlay is not working properly, guys, um, which is the Anto Cheat software of Fortnite, just simply make sure to uninstall it. 
here real quick. It's not gonna take a long time. And as you can Bedley see, Bedlay is successfully uninstalled. And then simply again go on to Insta Bedlay. And now we successfully uninstall and insult Attitude of Fortnite again, which is a huge cause for stutter. Or maybe some in game crashes or stuff like so, that. So if you're experiencing any of these issues, this should be fixed by now. And what I would also recommend you is going easy to Easy Anti Cheat, which is here as well. And they can just simply click on it. This is also one of the anti cheat services of Fortnite. And as you right can now, see, here, we got the current game selected. Just simply press Repress Services. And if you're experiencing any issues with your anti cheat on Fortnite, which can also cause a game to not start and stuff like that, um, it should be fixed by now and sell successfully. It says here the on. bottom line. So just press on Finish here. And we pretty much done here in this Fortnite folder. As well, guys, now restart your PC, launch your game, and enjoy the best performance. So subscribe my channel, like this video for more content.